I think that uh, I think this this chart actually does two things. It's showing the pipeline by created date. So it's show, telling me that in July, for example, um, this is how much pipeline total pipeline we created in that month, and this is where it is at the moment. Now, why is that important? Well, I think it's important for two reasons. The first reason is that um, you know. <laughs> I was looking at this. If this is real information, I'd be a bit concerned. Actually, we've got a pretty lumpy chart here. Yeah, that would imply wow. we're making an effort to uh, build pipeline in some months and doing uh, yeah, doing absolutely a nothing else. from July there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if this was this was a real company, I would be. Um, I might be concerned about that. Um, I'd probably all other things being equal, you want to see a fairly, you know, a fairly steady um, and ongoing contribution to the overall pipeline. Obviously. Life's not quite as simple as that. End of the year, there's often less pipeline and more focus on closing deals and so on. But but all things being equal, I'd be a bit concerned about. But I'm really looking to see, is new pipeline being created? Where is it? And I might also want to drill down to that report and look at it by person. Who's creating pipeline? Yes. Yeah. I'd, I'd be concerned as well here, Gary, if you've got a short sales cycle, a bit like we spoke about earlier, why we've still yeah. got something sitting in there from February 2016. Yeah. And if we're talking it's typically three months, maybe even six months, you don't really want to be seeing opportunities that were opened almost a year ago still in that in that pipeline. Yeah, yes. I mean, that's an interesting point, really. It's, t it's, it's a surrogate for quality. Mm. It's a surrogate for pipeline quality in the sense that if my if my sales cycle is three months, I can completely accept that sometimes a deal will take 12 months, six months, nine months, whatever, sometimes that will happen. But if I intuitively know that my sales cycle is 90, 100 days, something like that, then these deals that have been, you know, are, are a year, have been sitting in the pipeline for a year, are they really, so we call them zombie deals, yes. you know, are they, yeah. are they dormant deals that are just, because a lot of sales, a lot of sales people, a lot of sales managers are under pressure about the size of the pipeline. Yes. So taking deals out of the pipeline, moving them to closed loss or just getting them out of the pipeline doesn't help alleviate that pressure. So what happens is those deals, well, you know, with the best will in the world, those deals aren't going to close. Yeah. But taking them out of the pipeline isn't a good, you know, isn't on the face of it a good thing to do either because I'm under pressure about the size of the pipeline. On the other hand, if I don't do that, then this chart, I'm just not getting that robust no, view. You're not getting the true of the facts pipeline. There, are you? So um, you know, so it's a right. I think for managers, all of these charts. There's no. I said I had my favourite chart, but there's no one chart. I think that kind of dominate should dominate over and above everything else. No, they um, they they you know you use them in conjunction and they all tell a story, don't they? That, I think that's why there's 12 of them. I think, yes. you know, they're all telling us something about a different part of the pipeline or a different part of the opportunity or a different part of the sales team. And together, you can build a picture. I think that's what's important here. And, and, and I agree. And it's not that, it's not that one, let me say that again. It's not that the charts tell you the answer. No. They don't tell you the answer. They tell you where to go and look for the answer. So is it right or is it wrong that all that pipeline was created in July? We don't know. No. But now that we have that information, we can go and look for the right answers. In, in lots of sales meetings and pipeline reviews, more time is spent discussing the accuracy of the data and, and, and what everybody perceives to be the trends. Here are the, here we are, here are the facts. Now let's understand the reasons and, and spend the time more productively. Yes.